Hi everyone, welcome back to Monster Mates! Yes, for this glorious fourth episode. And All as right. per usual, Spencer, pick a number between uh, one and uh one and sixty-seven. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Alright, um I'm gonna pick number forty-eight. Forty-eight Monkey Girls! No! <laughs> oh what? <laughs> Monkey Girls! Yeah, hold on. Hold on, my, my my thing just squeaked, and you're gonna hear me fucking type. I don't even want to take. No, you know what? I'm not even gonna type in monkey girls, cause no. Okay. Is that even a monster? That's an animal girl. Monkey monster. Hold on. Does it even girl. count? It should. Uh, I believe. Okay, the official, the like, quote official name is Kakuin. Kakuin. Yes. Hold on. I have a picture here. For the viewer, how do you spell it so they can look it up? Uh, K A K U E N. All right, Kakuin. Yes, I I posted a picture in our chat. Oh. Okay. So, very very. Saiyan. Very, yeah. Dra girls, like like girl a big, Saiyan. Think kinda. girl. Think girl Saiyan. No powers. And more... Just the tail, more, the hairy arms, and the hairy legs. But the ass and tits are human. Yes. As well as the actual feet, feet and, I pr and, and hands. fingers slash hands, fingers. yes. So they just have, like, kind of hairy arm, Kind of like the fish girls, actually. They have the the mermaid legs, the, the mermaid, and the fish arms. Yeah, very, very more attribute-like in general. Okay, at first i hear monkey girl maybe go oh god no but seeing it in this light hmm okay i'd have to give it like a solid seven okay because i think there you could do some fun things with that tail all right um for me before going into our discussion i would give this a solid a solid six, probably. So, okay. The reason I gave it a seven was because other, because like I can imagine some things. Like I can imagine the the tail jack me off. I can imagine the tail <laughs> like just it's just like a fun thing to grab as well, you know. Yeah. Um. But my thing is. How acrobatic are these girls? I would imagine extremely. Like poses for days. Yes. And that is why I thought about giving it a seven is because I'm just like, give me the poses, girl. Yeah, like anything in the Kama Sutra she can do. <laughs> <laughs> Effectively. I, I wish she could do everything in the Kama Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, as I think a seven is pretty fair for right now. Yeah, um, I would think that because because monkeys are usually n kind of known for you know being a bit uh, well very acrobatic first and foremost. Yes. But also they can be they can be a bit uh, how to energetic. That's the word energetic. I would imagine that these girls would be more into the rough and tough kind of sex. Uh, yeah, I'm down for rough and tough. Now, here's the only thing. How, um, my only thing is, how much stamina do these girls got? Because, like, I imagine they have outrageous amount of stamina, more than I can even have. <laughs> I would say, okay. A normal human. So, oh, goodness. I would say... If we're comparing this to the human male, I would say they would have three times as much stamina as a human male. For, let's say, a female porn star, probably twice as much, I would say. Yeah. I don't know. Female porn stars get tired easily. Eh, true. <laughs> no, but it's... uh, <sighs> Okay. Yeah. I, I can last long, but mm -hmm. I don't think i can last three times as long and that makes me intimidated to go to have a girlfriend 
like this. Now, at a brothel, that'd be different because they're just like, oh, I didn't have to use all my energy on this guy. Great. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But uh, uh, dating-wise and having sex with him, I, I feel intimidated a little bit. Eh, I can kind of see that. I mean, they, okay. The, this comes down to more of a philosophical argument than of the argument of the monster girl. <laughs> a philosophical? Philosophical. Is that, so is your goal to wear them out or just to satisfy them? Because I feel like there's a bit of a difference. Okay, so my experience is... Mm, uh, is to satisfy and wear them out. So that's okay. kind of why I, I, why I feel intimidated because if I feel like I can't make them tired or wear them out, they're just like, it, it's like having like them for them. It's like having a nice treat. It's like, Oh, that was fun. And I'm over here like fucking dead <laughs> dick flaccid on the bed going, help me. Uh, you know, like I, that's yeah. what intimidates me. It's just like, how how much stamina do you have? A lot, because they're used to you know they're they're monkey girls. They have a lot of energy, both in that capacity and just physically in general. Yes. So I think I wouldn't date one of them. I don't think I date a okay. monkey girl. I what I would do is I would go to a brothel, have myself a good time. And have themselves a good time, but not be tired so they can have more clients or whatever. Okay. So, I have another question. Okay. So, obviously, in the picture that I have shown you, and uh, that the audience can look up if they look up Monster Girl Encyclopedia uh, Kakuin, um, the picture presented is a pretty busty yet slender frame, yeah? Yes. So, I would say... Would there be any, or rather, would these monkey girls be like have some sort of hidden strength to them? Like they're stronger than they look. Absolutely. Like okay. We, okay. Now here's the, here's another question. Are we how are we talking height? Height? Um, like just normal, like normal, like yeah, human nor size? normal human height. Right. But there, like just outrageous no strength, even if it doesn't show, they can just pick you up. Yes. I want to be picked up by her tail. I just thought of that. I don't think the tail would have enough strength to do that. <laughs> I want it though. <laughs> yeah. Fair. <laughs> you can't you can't blame me, man. I know. Oh man. Like that's the thing. She comes in with a built in rope. Yeah. She can she can take you up so that you can have sex in the trees. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, absolutely yes a hundred percent no i think the other thing that would like kind of like i i think i have to get over it, is the like the 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 super hairy arms i don't know why but i feel like i can't get over the super monkey arms over like the fish girl arms and legs i don't know why but like to me like i can get, can't get over that one I can super get over that easily. I, I can get over it easily. I'm just saying, like, it, I feel like it's something to be said about that as well. Going, like, feels weird to grab them by their arm, you know? Because it feels like you're grabbing, like, a dog. Yeah, fair. That is completely fair. Um, Now, how groomed are these girls? Okay. Cause, because, again, they're oh, monkeys, man. so... Yeah. I'm assuming out in the wild it means they are hairy. They are super or... hairy. They are su their their fur is super unkept. But I think in a actual if they are placed in an actual like brothel or dating kind of environment in civilization, I they think it would depend on girl to girl, but it would mostly be like it would be kind of stylized, mostly kept. Yeah, okay. I mean, I can, I don't know. I don't like hairy, like super, I don't like hairy vaginas really that much. Yeah. But like, I know some guys are like, no, it's a must. Um, I, I'm not a big fan, but I can get mm -hmm. over it. Um, as long as it's not like, I, as long as it's not like, where's your vagina? Hold on, let me get you the comb. The comb! <laughs> <laughs> well, on the, it's Gotta like, braid it, it, back. Doesn't, it doesn't look like that's, that w would be an extreme issue, again, depending. Depending. You know? 
Uh, uh, but if that's the case and they're like, let me braid it back for you to see, I'd be like, ah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, that's like tongue, a killer for me. Your tongue's going to be Indiana Jones at that point. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth will be looking like a, I ate a Furby in the next couple <laughs> in a couple seconds. Oh my goodness! <laughs> All right, so what what else is there to be said about these girls? Um, I I, I uh, think I think it'd be fun. I think she'd just have a good time. It feels like it feels like monkey girls are energetic and they're ha fun to be around, and they just have a. Again, ignoring the stamina part, I feel like they're just going to have a good time and just do whatever makes you happy kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just thought of something. Okay, so we know they like rough, they like the rough and tough sex. Uh-huh. But would they be more dominant or submissive? Oh, man. Um, I think... Okay, I think, I think these are kind of similar to... I think we said about um, Fish Girls. Yeah. Is they can be both. Yes. I feel depending like depending on the subspecies. Depending on the if they're like, if they are a chimpanzee clap. Yeah. <laughs> if they are a chimpanzee, you got young slent slung uh, you lung. You got young, slender, and tight. Yep. If you're going with a silver back gorilla kind of girl, oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh my goodness. She's going I'm... to wear you as an accessory. I, hey man, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Look man, I'm all I'm saying is if I, if I can be if I can be her trophy, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take that 100%. She puts you on and then puts her pants on. All right, time to go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be hilarious, but it would be awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I, I think, again, it goes, oh, God, fucking baboons. <laughs> Oh my goodness! No, when they you would said have... when you said monkey girls at first, my brain goes to baboons, which I hate. I hate baboons so fucking much. They would have the biggest of asses, though. My is it as red? Probably. I'm. Mm, I'm I take it. Look, man, I take it. I don't know. I think I might have to pass on that one. Okay, I I can understand it. But it's like, I would hope they wouldn't, like, the thing that kills me on baboons the most is their faces. They look like a combination of a horse and a dog, and I don't like it. <laughs> now do the, do the monkey girls look like that, too? No, no, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to say no. Their we're going to stick with Saiyans. We're going to stick with Saiyans. Yes. But more hairy. Stick with that. Yes. Saiyans, but more hairy. Yes. Uh, and with gigantic asses. Red asses. Red ass. <laughs> red ass is mandatory. <laughs> For a baboon subspecies, yes. <laughs> Some guy is going to go to a brothel and be like, all right, I need the reddest ass you got. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they specialize in that, sure. Why not? Oh, my God. No, you go into this place and you go, uh, again, you go, go in, I want the biggest one you got. Um, are they going to give you the biggest tits, biggest ass, or are they just going to give you the silver back? They're going to give you the silver back. I, oh my God, please. They're a hundred percent going to give you that silver back gorilla <laughs> girl. So go in knowing what you want. Yep. If you, if you just say, give me the biggest one you want, you're going to have a bad time. Or, or you a know good what? time if you're yeah. into that. <laughs> or a good time if you'd like making an accessory. <laughs> I just I just imagine you having like uh like um the guy acting like the uh uh a chastity belt. She just <laughs> pops him on and then just goes about Ooh. her day. Okay, now when you say that Yeah. Does that mean okay, so as a so as a living chastity belt is is your dick inside her when you're the chastity belts, or... That's up to you! Okay. 
Because I would say yes. <laughs> I would a hundred percent say yes. But I feel like it, I feel like um, I don't, I don't know. I think it, I think. I don't get me wrong. I like dominant women. I like strong women. I'm excited for certain monster girls when they come up eventually. Yes. Um, but I just feel like this particularly doesn't get me excited for it for I, some reason. Like, I feel like I would have a lot of fun in a in a monkey girl brothel. Like, I I, I want like I think I could too, but I think I'd stick with my solid seven. I think. I think uh, you could have a lot of fun things, a lot of poses, a lot of stamina, a lot of different things you can do, and they're cute as hell. Yes. So I think I yeah. think in the end I'm going to meet you on that seven. Hey, you made it up to a seven. <laughs> yes, because like, as much as like the only real extension is the tail, that extra stamina and flexibility is a really really. Like that's a big plus in my opinion. I can see that. I could I could totally see it being a big plus. Yes. Okay, and I think I think that's enough for monkey business. Yeah, so tell us below or in whatever comments that you find this in, what kind of monkey girl would you want to have sex with? And would you even have sex with monkey girls? Or tell us we're fucking creeps and are wrong. Tell us we're trash and our tastes tell, are wrong. Tell us that we have some sort of weird Darwinism fetish. Maybe. Who knows? It's all possible. Give me Unga Bunga girls. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Give goodness. me the Ungabungas. Um also go uh I will also be we will also be putting the links in the descriptions to each artist that we have for each thumbnail. Yes. Uh and follow us on Twitter and what fucking whatever, who knows. Uh well I'll have, try and get this on as many whatever podcasting sites as possible. But yes. Thank you so much for listening/watching and stay tuned for the next episode. Ungabunga.